Dominic Edmund here once again, and welcome to your next installment. Again, this is for Christian entrepreneurs. So if you are a Christian and an entrepreneur, whether you already have a business or you're aspiring to have a business, then this video was made especially for you. As I said on a previous video, I'm gonna be doing a series of videos and hopefully multiple series of videos such as these where I'll be sharing practical tips that you can truly implement in your business to move it forward as a Christian. You know, the main thing is that when I look around at Christians who own businesses right now, Christian entrepreneurs in the marketplace right now, I, I see the standard of holiness dropping. And while, while they may be competing in the marketplace, I also see where they're compromising and they're, they're fudging on a few things that they should not be fudging on. And it's because there's no example for them to follow or there are very few examples for them to follow. When it comes to being a Christian and maintaining that standard of godliness, that standard of holiness in the marketplace, it's hard for us as Christian entrepreneurs to navigate through that. And so these videos are designed especially to help us do that. And I believe that they will. I know they're going to be a blessing to you. I was at an event just last night, in fact, and while the event was never broadcast or promoted to be a Christian event, I believe the guy to be a Christian who was hosting the event. But as the event was carrying on, I, I began to hear a lot of profanity. And as you guys already know, profanity really grieves my spirit. You know, it's not something that I do. I don't use profanity. I don't think it's necessary. But a lot of Christians even are using profanity in the business world, in the business environment. And I, I have to ask myself, why? You know, what is the need? What is the necessity to use profanity? I wanted to bring my son to the event last night. It was a bunch of men entrepreneurs. So it would have been a great opportunity for my son to gather around other men who are entrepreneurs, who are Christians, to see how we do this thing God's way. But I'm glad I didn't bring him to the event because it would have been a bunch of profanity. Now, he would have come back home and he would have thought, man, this is how Christian entrepreneurs operate. We use profanity. We drop the F-bomb here and there. We use the S-word a lot of times. We tell people kiss our you-know-whats and all those types of things. And I'm thinking, no, that's not the standard. That's not the example that we're looking for. That's not the example that we're wanting to set for our children and our children's children. The future does not need that kind of an example. You know, and then another thing that they were doing last night, too, and you've probably seen this. You could tell me if you have or not. You can comment below. Let me know if you if you're familiar with this, if you've experienced this and maybe even what your thoughts are on this. But another thing, too, that I don't necessarily care for or appreciate is people who are, um, let's say, politically correct. Right. So I heard a guy once say we live in a time and in an age and a place where everything has to be so politically correct everybody is right except God. Isn't that profound? Isn't that amazing? Everything, everybody else is so politically correct that they're right. So whatever their opinions, their ideas, their thoughts and ideas are, all of that is right because it's politically correct for that person to be right. However, it excludes God from being right. Everybody else around us is right in their thinking. So here's what was being said last night at the event. Tell me if you hear this. The universe, oh, the universe gives you the power to do. The universe leads you this way. The universe moves you that way. Nature compels you to do these things. And we give all credit to all kind of other weird and strange things except God. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm not afraid to say that the blood of Jesus sets me free, that the blood of Jesus cleanses me, that the blood of Jesus sets me apart. And I'm not afraid to say that God is my source, that he's my provider and I serve him and him alone. I worship him and him alone. And as Christians, we shouldn't be so afraid to say that, to let people know that we have to be able to be in a place, in a, in a place, in a space in our, in, in whatever that business venture we're doing, whatever that marketplace is for you, you might be in restaurants, you might be in hotels, you might be in who knows, you know, name it. You, whatever that is for you, whatever your business is, might be um, renting properties, it might be lawn care, whatever, whatever that is, you have to be able to be free enough and, and confident enough to know that it is okay for you to say, I love God. 
You don't have to say, I love the universe, because that's what's politically correct and that's what's accepted in the circle that you're in. So that's the kind of stuff that you're going to get on these videos. You're going to get the truth. You're going to, you're going to be able to maintain your Christian standards and values. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to lower it to be politically correct. You don't have to say, well, the universe is awesome because if you say God is awesome, then all of a sudden people look at you weird. You don't have to worry about any of that here on this video, okay? So let me jump into what it is that we're gonna be talking about tonight, or today, rather, and it's gonna be very brief. I was thinking about FEMA recently, and of course, you know, that's an acronym for me, but that, of course, here in the United States, we have FEMA, and so it's our Federal Emergency Management Agency, and so they handle all the emergencies on a federal level that takes place here in the United States. And I was thinking about recently that you know when it comes to being an entrepreneur and it comes to running and having a successful business you have to be consistent success equals consistency over time so remember that success equals consistency over time you have to be consistent for a period of time and then you'll be successful but today i want to talk with you about fema because fema helps us to clarify what it is exactly that we're being consistent about so that's what we're going to deal with, FEMA, F-E-M-A. What are we being consistent about over time? So the first thing that we want to be consistent in is our focus. As a Christian, as an entrepreneur, you need to be focused. Whatever it is, whatever that vision is, get clear about it. Get focused on it and stick to it. Stay the course. Be consistent. Don't waver from it. Don't drift from it. Don't manipulate it. Don't change it. Don't when I say that, I mean in, in the whole thing itself, you know, if you, if you have to make a, a tweak here and there, I understand that. But what I mean is don't completely change it. You can't have a totally different vision today than what you had a month ago and expect to achieve either one of those. It, it's simply not going to happen. So you have to be focused and you have to have that vision and be clear about it. Be consistent in that. The second thing that you need to be consistent in is your energy. Your energy is going to be very important in everything that you do in life, everything that you do in life. Not only in your business, not only as an entrepreneur do you need to have consistent energy, but just as a father, as a mother, as a husband, as a wife, as a child, and whatever it is that you're doing in life, you have to have consistent energy. You have to go at this thing with a, a high level of energy. So what are some things that impact our energy? Of course, they are outside influences. So we have to make sure we're always guarding and protecting our energy from other outside influences that try to bring our energy down, right? But also, here's some practical things. What about sleep? What kind of sleep are you getting at night? And don't give me the excuses of, well, I just don't have time. Well, I, I just have so much going on. You'll learn very quickly about me that I, I hate excuses. I'm not a man of excuses. I, I, I absolutely detest excuses. So don't give me excuses. Figure out a way to get some rest. Figure out a way to get your butt in bed at night. And so that way you're getting the proper eight hours or more of rest. Because if you're not getting rest, then you're not going to have the energy that you need. Uh, what about food? What about your diet? Think about that. If you're eating all the wrong foods and you're obese and you're overweight, then of course you're not going to have the energy that you need to have in order to be successful. So be consistent in your energy. And there are some others. We'll, we'll get into more specifics about energy in a later video. The other thing is mentorship. So be consistent in having a mentor, having a coach, having someone who's guiding you, who's showing you along the way. Make sure you're consistent in that. That mentor brings accountability into your life. So you're an entrepreneur, you need accountability. You need somebody holding you accountable. You didn't become an entrepreneur just so you could do things your way and have things your way and I'm going to show up when I want to show up, I'm going to wake up when I want to wake up, all those things. You're not going to be successful if you're going at it that way. You need to be successful and as a successful entrepreneur, you need a mentor in your life who's holding you accountable, who's showing you what you need to do, who's helping you to make those decisions. And then the last thing is the A and the A is for action. So you have to be consistent in your action every single day you need to be taking action that's moving you forward every day you need to make sure you have a list you know put write out a list or type out a list of action steps actionable tasks 
that you need to do on a daily basis that's going to move you closer towards whatever that goal is for your business. So those are the tips for today. Be consistent in FEMA, which is focus, energy, mentorship, and action. If you're consistent in your FEMA, then you will be successful as an entrepreneur and especially as a Christian entrepreneur. So make sure you share this video with others. Make sure you take it to heart. Apply it today. Apply it today. Let this be the focus of your thoughts today. As you're going throughout your, your day, or maybe you're watching this at night. If you're watching it at night, then let it be your focus tomorrow. Make sure you're applying this. Make sure you're being focused. Make sure you have energy. Make sure you have a mentor. If you don't have one, find one. Let that be the first thing on your to-do list tomorrow or today if you're watching it in the morning. Let that be the first thing you do. I need to find a mentor. And then the next thing is action. So make sure you're consistent in all of these areas because I want you to be successful as an entrepreneur. Again, my name is Dominic Edmond. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.